In today's session of Visual Studio Forex, we will be continuing our work using the indicator ROC, the rate of change. And uh, as per the name, it uh, is going to be helpful to look at the rate of change for the underlying instrument's price. So we will be using this uh, indicator to define the trend and uh, as per the trend, we will be placing the orders if the momentum is bullish. We will be looking to initiate the buy date if the moment is bearish. Our focus is going to be on the sell side trades. So let us get started. In the prior session, I had carried out the instrument subscription. The position amount was defined as zero. Then I got these ROC blocks of hourly and five minutes time frame each. This is getting struggle candle. First is hourly, second is a 5 minutes and these two are of 10 seconds each and to make sure that there is enough of volatility in the underlying instrument these um, calculations were carried out where I have defined the value of at least uh, 10 bits and the actual difference of the high and low of last hour we will compare this actual difference to this predefined value of 10 bits and only if the difference is more than 10 bits, the trades will be placed. So that's how we have progressed uh, so far. Now I will give you a brief refresher of the underlying logic. This is the USD GPY chart. I will change it to hourly time frame. On the hourly time frame, we want the ROC value to be in the positive territory it should be above zero but uh, to make sure that we are not going into the trade after substantial price move has already happened so we will be capping its uh, upside and uh, the ROC value should be in between zero to zero point two and only if the value is within this band the trade will be going through and uh, as I had explained to you yesterday also, we are taking the value of 12 for ROC. That simply means we are comparing the last hour's ROC value to the value 12 hours back. And uh, only if we have the price rise in this uh, 12 hour interval, the ROC value will be in positive territory. If it is uh, negative, that means the price has declined in the interval of last 12 hours. And uh, once we are uh, satisfied with the hourly condition, the focus is going to shift to the 5 minute. And here we want the trade to be executed as soon as the price rise in last 1 hour is uh, more than 0 0.1. And uh, to define that condition, the ROC of last 12 periods of 5 minutes each is going to be used. And uh, if we see that the last 5 minute candles ROC value is more than 0 0.1, whereas the penultimate uh, candles ROC value was below 0 0.1, we will be placing the order for the trade. So that's how we are looking to initiate the buy trade. So let us now go back to the Visual J for the board. This has been developed by the Deposito Bank SA and is quite helpful and makes our uh, trading life a lot easier. So now in uh, this session, I will have to carry out some further calculations. We will also have to look at the difference of last can hourly candles closing and the opening price. It is uh, going to be a requirement that we need its closing value to be higher than its opening value and uh, also whatever is the difference we will be using that with uh, that as a stop loss and uh, multiple of it the price of it as a target price and also we will uh, place additional condition that the difference between the last our closing value and opening value should be more than 5 bips. Okay. So for that, 
two calculation expression blocks will be needed. variable will be created with the value of 5 a1 into a2 We are also going to compare the candle candies closing and opening difference. So for the buy side trade, we will need its closing value to be higher than its opening price by at least 5 pips. So I will take the difference and then compare it with the calculation which we carried out in last block. A1 minus a2 okay quite simple now let us start defining the conditions using the blocks We want last hour ROC value to be in between 0 and 0 0.2. First input is the second input. and it should be less than 0 0.2 after that we are going to shift current tension to the 5 ROC values and here the last 5 minute candles ROC value needs to have crossed above 0 0.1 whereas the penultimate candles are the value was uh, below 0 0.1 okay oops here instead of taking out 19, I have included out 18. Sorry for that. Out 19, I will change. Okay, now it's fine. And uh, once we are confident of the RC conditions, we can take a look on how the price action is playing out using these. Uh, Get historical candle blocks. 
and uh, here we have carried out these calculations and now it's time to compare these results we want the difference between the highest and the lowest to be more than 10 bits And the candle close and the open difference be more than five pips. We also want that life last five minute candle should have closed higher and for that we will need to compare candle 21 candle close and open price first input needs to be greater than second input and once we have defined this all that is left is to place the trade and as soon as price starts to rise above the last time we can be close we want the trade to be initiated We need candle 21 close and compare it with candle 22nd and candle 23rd closing values. Candle 22 has a lookback period of 1, that means its closing value needs to be higher. Candle 23rd is a penultimate candle, its close should have been lower and once we are done with that we can take the order execution block this time around we are working with open end market so order will be placed straight away as soon as conditions get fulfilled Uh, here we will need to define the stop loss and take profit and uh, other parameters will also be defined prior to that let us arrange this if blocks we will need a uh, multiple action block We have used 9 A blocks in total.
Now I'm coming to the parameters of the open market block. The default instrument will remain as it is. Trade amount, I will define at 0.1 million. The page is going to be 2 bits. Stop loss. We will uh, be keeping the stop loss and target price dynamic. So whatever is the last hour candle close and opening difference, that will be our uh, stop loss. So all we have to do is take this output value and change it into integer format. For that, we are going to need the calculation expression blocks. This output is in double data type and we will need to change it to integer data type. USDJPY has two decimal points, so we will need to multiply the output with uh, 10 raised to the power 2. I will create the variables here of integer data type here, the type is integer. And assign it to this calculation expression output value. And then take the stop loss and multiply it with 2 to arrive at the take profit. It will to be A1 into A2. Again, I will create the variable U of integer data type. And assign it here. So in this, we have defined all the five input parameters for these open end market block, the stop loss and target price have been defined dynamically using the last hour's candles closing and opening price. And uh, with this, the buy side is complete. So for the time being, I will join it here. And uh, if we color code this, you can see that the algorithm iteration flow is going to the very end, till this open end market block. But uh, we haven't defined the sell side execution condition. So for that, we will need to disrupt this flow and add uh, additional blocks. But we will be doing that in the next session as we have short on time. I will be wrapping up the session here. I hope you have been able to understand the logic and the execution part of this uh, algorithmic setup. So I hope you will be trying out on your own and uh, let me know how far you can uh, go with this uh, setup. Thank you all for joining in. Do subscribe to the first copy of our channel to stay updated on market developments. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.